today is Dr. C, and today we will be going over how to calculate sample size um, within a margin of error given items on a word problem. So um, we look at this word problem here where it says, um, you know, we're trying to estimate the mean weight. It gives us a couple of important items that are relevant. The first thing, when we start kind of recognizing what we're doing, so we're trying to find within eight pounds of actual weight, that is margin of error. So the margin of error is going to equal eight. But I always encourage you to write down the relevant formulas. So this will be the relevant formula to calculate the sample size. So then we're going to go through this word problem and underline the important elements. So um, standard deviation, they give us that is about 36 pounds. Um, we need to calculate the sample size, 96% confidence level, um, and then within eight pounds of the actual weight. So it's not much, but it kind of gives us something to work with. So next step is the states you're given. They give us the standard deviation of 36. They give us the margin of error of eight. And then we need to calculate the, um, we need to calculate the, the Z critical based on this formula, okay? So they say 96% confidence level. So we're 96% confident. That means there's about a 4% chance that we're not confident, right? So that means that we do alpha divided by two. So 0 0.04 divided by two, which is Z uh, 0 0.02. So when we do that, one minus 0 0.02 gives us 0 0.98. Um, they say to go to Excel, my advice is when you go to Excel, the formula that you essentially will be utilizing will be um, norm.s.inverse. And so we already calculated it out to be 0 0.98. So when you type that in there, it gives you about 2.054, okay? So that 2.054 is our Z critical, all right? The next step is to actually calculate for the sample size. So again, we already have the formula and we already have everything from our given. We're just plugging everything in. So we do 2.054 times 36 divided by eight. I encourage you to do that first before you start squaring items because it can get a little tricky. And so when we put all that together, that gives us about 9.243 squared we square that and that gives us about 85.433 um and we're talking about sample size here so you need to round to the nearest integer so the nearest integer would be at or around 86. okay so i hope you found this video to be helpful if you have any questions whatsoever please feel free to reach out